Yo Snow Turds, I'm Ren, and I thought maybe you'd like to see how I wax my shiz, but first, we burn. Welcome to the waxing lab. <laughs> Here are the basic tools that you're going to need to tune your board at home. A screwdriver or a board tool to take your bindings off. You're also going to need a soft Brillo pad, base cleaner, and rubbing alcohol for the top sheet. So if you board a lot, you're really going to want a wax scraper that feels good in your hands. Uh-uh. Psych. No way. This one's perfect, nice and thick, just the way I like it. And of course, hot wax. Everybody knows that's the best way to lube her up. And you're going to want a stiff brush and a soft brush. And then you're going to need a gummy stone, a hard stone, an edge file, and paper towels to clean up the mess. And of course you're going to need your waxing iron too. To start off your cleaning process, you're going to want to use a soft Brillo pad from tip to tail. Apply the base cleaner to your paper towel and scrub thoroughly. And now you're ready for the waxing process. I like to ride hard, so I like to melt my nipples in the glide zone. Make sure that you cover your base past your edges to seal everything up. While your wax is drying, it's the perfect time to tune your edges. We're going to use a different board for this demo because mine are fine. We're going to start buffing everything with the gummy stone until it shines. So if you have nicks, you're going to want to use a hard stone, but since I don't have any today, we're just going to get straight to edging. File all the way down the effective edge. I always scrape my edges first to make sure that the metal doesn't rust. Once your board is cold, scrape from tip to tail Daniel song.
to finish your hot waxing process, you're going to want to brush your board from tip to tail with a soft brush. And now I'm ready to board through the pan.